my name is Jennifer Callahan, and um, this is my first year in college. This is uh, my psychology video assignment. So here we go. So, psychology. The definition. Scientific study of behavioral and mental process. He calls it psychology would be understanding how often how one functions, undercovering the mystery of human and animal behavior. The scientific approach is a way to accomplish goals um, of psychology. Here we have four theories um, in the discussion of psychology perspective. Sigmund Fred, we have a psychodynamic perspective. We have John B. Watson, and then uh, B.F. Skinner came and took over for him, which was the said the behavior perspective. Then we have Abraham Marslow and Carl Rogers, human extent perspective, Charles Darwin, evolution perspective. Alright, and next, the research and why it's important. So pretty much the study and analysis of the experiences and, be and behaviors of individuals or groups. Pretty much something to back up what the psychologists are talking about. Um, research is important because it is an observation of different studies placed in one work. Scientific method, the way, the way they, they do this and how they get all these uh, scores and answers and all that will be receiving the questions, forming hypotheses, testing hypotheses, drawing conclusions, re and reporting the results. Okay, here are four careers of psychology, which is one of them is psychiatrist, which that is someone that can counsel someone, but not only that, they can actually prescribe medication. Neuropsychologist specializes in the study of the brain. Um, school psychology, which is like it sounds, they work with um, children in school, I mean, from children to grown-ups, um, and with any kind of problems um, in learning. And then we have the sports psychologist, which they work with motivating athletes and supporting them for a better performance. Here we have the nervous system. It is a sense of network specialized cells that carries information to and from all parts of the body. The way pretty much um, the nervous system is what makes you feel tingly or whenever like, your arms jump or, or whatever that may be. Then we have the brain function. We have um, the medulla, the thalamus, which is um, similar to a triage nurse. Pretty much it brings in all the information, takes information, and then it sends it out to wherever it needs to go in order to, to get it where it needs to go, just like a triage nurse would do. Then we have the hypothalamus, then the hypocampus. These are all pretty, pretty important. The most important is gonna be the medulla. That is the most important part of the, uh, the, brain, the brain. Then we have the neurons. We have dendrites, the soma, axon, axon terminals, the glial cells, the myelin, the nerve nerves, which are the bundles of axons, coated in fatty substance that travels together throughout the body, and that's what makes the um, the jumping and the tingling feeling and all that. Then we have the neurotransmitters, and then we have uh, first one to be it's going to be acetylcholine, which is involved in activating muscles and helps uh, the body move. Then we have the norepinephrine involved in arousal and mood. We have the dopamine, it controls movements and sensation of pleasure, and endorphins, which that is pretty much the no, uh, natural control of uh, pain relievers in the body. Then we have the endocrine system. The system releases specific hormones. These hormones uh, secrete into the bloodstream that move into the body organs, such as the heart, pancreas, and the sex organs. All right, here's a few definitions. Um, the sensation, perception, consciousness, learning, memory, cognition, intelligence, language, health, stress, um, and critical thinking. All right, here is drugs and impact, the way it impacts psychology. So this is pretty much psychological dependence, not a physical pain, but more of a feeling in a certain way, secondary to not having a drug, alcohol, or anything that they're, they're dependent of, or one is dependent of. Then we have what I do for a living. This is something that I do and I feel the most comfortable talking about because um, I do work at an OB-GYN facility. So uh, four sexually transmitted infections that I pick will be chlamydia, herpes, HPV, and gonorrhea. All these cannot be um, transmitted by sitting on a toilet or holding hands or, or, or anything like that, okay? It's, it's gotta be 
genital to genital or body fluid to body fluid to fluid. So just read through this. That, that would be good. Then we have de uh, development across lifespan. So first we have the infants, which is from birth to one, learning basic trust. Uh, the next one's the toddler, one, two, three years old, understanding, controlling their own actions. Preschool, so just like it sounds, they start school, so three to five, children learn to take responsibility. Um, then we have elementary, five to 12 years old, learning in learning time and where they compare themselves and failures to others. And then we have adolescents, 15 to 20, usually find themselves what they believe in what they want to be as an adult. And then 20 to 30, um, which I was gonna say that's me, but that's not me anymore. Find someone they would like to spend their lives with. Mid adulthood, which is, that, that includes me now. Uh, that would be uh, finding ways to create and be productive for the next generation. And then we have, last but not least, late adulthood, which is 60 and on, which they accept uh, life um, as it was lived and accepting it um, that it's come to an end. Then we have, last but not least, would be anxiety. This here, um, I picked anxiety because I feel like it's the most common. It's more common than what we actually think. Um, a lot of people suffer anxiety just from uh, finances, day-to-day, -day, I mean, life. I mean, it's just very, very common. A lot of people don't necessarily know how common it is. So I just put some things together here that associate with anxiety will be free-floating anxiety, just think, being anxious all the time, Phobia, social anxiety, claustrophobia, which I'm claustrophobic, uh, panic disorder. Some treatments would be counseling, um, medication, such as antidepressants. Um, so pretty much any kind of anxiety, uh, its own body to, to react a certain way. So anything that, you know, I mean, taking a test may cause anxiety. Um, having to go to work in the morning may cause anxiety. There's, there's many, many things that um, pretty much come into um, this slide right here that I picked. And so that is the end of my, um, my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And I hope um, I did great on it. Thank you.